Every family has their own recipe. Every person thinks that his or her mother's gumbo is the quintessential gumbo. No restaurant can compete with that. My name is Liz Williams and I am the president and director of the Southern Food and Beverage Museum here in New Orleans. And we opened it because we wanted to have a place to preserve the story of food in the South. And in particular, the story in New Orleans and Louisiana. Well, I'm Leah Chase. I'm a co-owner with my husband, Ducky Chase's Restaurant here in New Orleans. The food is about people. It's about knowing people. Today we are at the New Orleans French Market. This is the oldest continuously operating open market in the United States. I love food, period. But my favorite food to make and to serve and to eat is gumbo. We are picking up ingredients for tonight's gumbo. We're going to make a seafood gumbo, so it's going to be a lot of fun. The good gumbo to me is you have all your ingredients there and you got to make a good root. So when you make a roux, you use the same amount of oil as you do flour. I think gumbo is the iconic dish of this region. The seafood gumbo is most heavily identified with the city of New Orleans because everything in it comes from the Gulf and it's so close. So many different ethnic groups that have lived here have contributed to making it what it is. Okra is a very southern thing. It was probably brought here because it was uh, a very familiar food in Africa. It takes little bits of this culture and little bits of that culture and all of it puts together makes gumbo. We have African and European and Native American all in one pot. Okay, put the shrimp in and it turns pink when it's done. Good, Liz. Good. Okay. Is this your mom's recipe? It is, absolutely. <laughs>